Turnable. This is Cornelius. Looking for one more block. There is a flag. Actually, two of them. Probably going to go against Florida for an illegal block, which is going to start them in bad field position on their first offensive possession. Three-man defensive line right away for Alabama. They've been going to this more often. D'Amico Ryan's coming. Here is Lee. Pressure from the back. Fumble. Got in. Fumble. Florida recovered. That is only the third fumble this season, twice by Chris Lee. Tyrone Prothrow, the punt return specialist, the speedy wideout at the 50-yard line. And you want to get his hands on the ball right now with good position. This one nice and high and very effective. Prothrow grabs it, fumbles as he is cut down. And the ball is recovered Florida by Florida. It. Alabama brings five. Leak fires it. Driving try is it. It's incomplete. <laughs> as soon as you said that about the, the consecutive passes, right. he almost got one. Brody Croyle, injury scarred career, healthy now after missing nine games with a knee injury last year. Off to a good start in 2005. Play fake. Croyle, the senior, wants to go deep for Pro Pro, who's down there. He's got it, and he is gone. No flags. This is the second time this season now that Florida has found itself trailing in a ball game. They were down 7-0 against Kentucky. There are few truths in an uncertain world, but here's one. This ain't Kentucky. <laughs> That's right. Christensen with a kick. It will be returned by Cornelius. Not far. We got helmets flying all over the place. We got guys knocking each other's head off out there. <laughs> this is going to be a physical game. Couple close calls here. He's 0 for 3. But the uh, interception streak remains intact. This one batted as well, and it's intercepted. Chris Harris has got a blocker, and he is down to the one-yard line. Chris Harris. Brody Coyle hands it off to Ken Steele. Touchdown, Alabama. That was followed by an interception of Chris Leach's pass, a first and goal that led to a one-yard touchdown plunge. It's 14 to nothing. Leak, left side, incomplete. Anthony Madison was covering Chad Jackson. And 0 for 3 so far for Florida on third down. And credit to this Alabama defense. The NFL today, tomorrow on CBS. First down, Coyle back to throw for the second time. Flips it perfectly. Ken Darby out of the backfield. Nice touch on that pass. 106 to 7, but 87 of those came on one play. Here's Darby. Darts right. Makes a man miss. Makes another man miss. Breaks through a tackle. Up by 14. That's McLean, number 33. Here's Coyle into the corner. Contact. Uncatchable. Uncatchable. That's a good call. Christensen is 5 of 7 for the year. Won the uh, kicking battle in a showdown with Ryan Saxby. Matt Miller is the holder, third generation football player for this team, and the kick is good. Leak so brilliant the last two games has yet to complete a third down pass in this one. There it is. But it's short of the first down because of fine defensive work by Simeon Castile. Eric Wilbur has been ineffective. It's a fake. There's Earl Everett on the end around the linebacker, and boy, did they catch him. Wow. Earl Everett. What a gutsy call by Urban Meyer. His team needs a boost. They need something positive to happen. Option. Pitch right. Chad Jackson. Nothing. Excellent play by Charlie Pepper. Charlie Pepper, one of nine fifth-year seniors on this ball club. Played high school ball in Plano, Texas. Was recruited initially for TCU by Dennis Franchone. Here's Leak. He's got room. 
And he's going to be very close for the first down at the 22-yard line. The Alabama, three defensive linemen, but all those linebackers up close to the ball, not showing their hand until the ball snapped. And they bring three, essentially. There's the toss to Jackson. Great and he block. weaves his way. Yes, indeed. Great block by Kenneth Tooks. Third and goal. Four wides. Win alongside Leak. This is Jamel Cornelius. He's the option man. They pitch it to Jackson coming near side. And Jackson is caught the one. It'll be fourth down. Now, I don't disagree with this call. You went for the fake punt. You've had a great drive. You need to pay it off with a touchdown. Billy Latsko in motion. Deshaun Wynn follows Latsko, and he did not get it. Goal line stand, Alabama. Both of these teams dominate in time of possession over the course of the first four games. Here's Coyle. Comes roll, misconnect. Oh, no! Did he get and it? Throw throw. Did he get it or They're no? They're calling it a catch. They sure are. He said, I kind of did. You can't kind of. You either did or you didn't. <laughs> Play fake. Coyle. Got it. And survives a pop. LaRon McClain did a fine job to hold on to the ball. And this is kind of an old-fashioned pro-style offense. Here's play fake. Coyle under some pressure. Sidearms it. Pro throw. A tip and a catch. Well, that's, that's minor league compared to one of the catches he had earlier this year. He's got four. Second down. Draw play. Darby. Look at that nifty move. Now he's got a blocker down. Look at that niftier move. Flag is down. It's going to come back. Boy, but it shouldn't take anything away from the effort by Ken Darby. Again. Croyle's back in now. Under some pressure, sacked. Yeah, Brandon Seiler got in there on a blitz. Chris Leak, only one for seven for one yard and an interception. And again, the three-man line. They bring only three. Leak goes deep. Got a man wide open. That's Dallas Baker still running. Inside the 25-yard line. Four-man down line this time. Leak tipped incomplete. See, this, this job by the Alabama defense has been outstanding in the first half. And on fourth down, Chris Hetland is on to attempt a 37-yard field goal. He's perfect so far this year. This to get Florida on the board. Looks good. And is. LeRon McLean is in now, along with Brody Coyle. First down, 17 to 3. Beautiful. Oh. Nifty pass. See ya. Keith Brown. Great speed. Touchdown, Brown. <laughs> Alabama fighting history here. Brody Coyle said when a student told him that Tuesday at lunch, he was shocked. 0 for 5. Quarterback draw. Leak pulls up. This one's going to come back. And it's incomplete at any rate. Intended for Dallas Baker. Dennis Franchoni had abandoned the kids he had recruited and gone to Texas A&M. Mike Price resigned because of a scandal. Shula came into his alma mater. He's 14 and 15. This would even his record. Oh my goodness. Here comes Prothro. There's a there he goes. There's a flag. This is gonna come back. This is gonna come back for a penalty that had nothing to do with the return. It was out of the play. Third and ten. Here comes the blitz from the corner. Coyle moving right. Fires it. Oh, dangerous. Incomplete. The catch made, but out of bounds. You've been dominated, but a score here can give you some momentum to go into the locker room with. Leak lobs it, caught. Chad Jackson. That's a first down and fine play on yep. first down and ten. First and ten. 24-3. to Oh, boy, does Leak go down and guess who? You know what? I don't think this play counted. I'm not sure what it looked like. They're marking it down as a sack, and they're calling it a sack, but half the Florida team didn't move, and nobody other than D'Amico Ryan's moved on the Alabama defense. That's the answer to the Aflac trivia question. Tim Castillo gets the first down. Dave Rader was talking with us, the offensive coordinator, about power football. He said, I'm not sure if it's the Alabama mystique 
It's Mike Shula's philosophy, but power football is certainly who we are. There's the catch is made at the 49-yard line. Number four, Tyrone Prothrow. Prothrow, four catches for 119 yards. Had the big one of 87 yards. Here comes the blitz. Coyle sets up to go deep left side. There's a penalty. He Keith grabbed Brown. Him. Yep, he grabbed him. There it comes. It took a while. Well, he wanted to make sure it was a catchable pass, I think, for one. And Alabama came back and won handily in the fourth quarter. Here's Coyle. Throws it out. Caught by LaJuan McLean. Well, no, ripped the ball out. Yep. Florida's got it. Ball is loose. How many Brandon times did you got it. see a guy fighting for extra yardage and defenders come around and rip the football out? Alabama has just, just knocked these guys around in the first half. I mean, they, they've knocked these offensive linemen around. They've knocked the receivers around when they catch the ball. They've hit the running backs. They have been the faster, more physical, more aggressive football team here in the first half and deservedly have a three-touchdown lead. Alabama averaged 10 yards a play thanks to those big pass plays. On second down, Darby weaving his way, showing that elusiveness that you had mentioned, and he picks up nine and a first down. Play fake. McLean has it. Avoids the first tackle, gets a block from D.J. Hall. Fights his way to midfield. Coyle, 11 of 13 for 255. Draw play, Darby scoots by the first man, still on his feet, down at the 18-yard line. Now that's McLean in motion. Good block by Darby, Coyle got a man, Provo, touchdown, Alabama! You mentioned the block by Darby. He picked up the outside blitz perfectly, and Brody Coyle was able to stay right in the pocket and make the throw. Might have seen Jamel Cornelius limp off. He's not on the field. Here's Leak out of the backfield to Sean Wynn. Gets a good block from Lance Butler, and Wynn is uh, all the way up to the 28-yard line. Alabama again with three down. They've got six on the line. They bring four. Leak steps up, got a man open, it's Baker. Great, great catch. catch. And a first down at the 45-yard line. Here's Leak. Good right good side. Catch. And that catch is made. Dallas Baker still running free down the sidelines and is out of bounds at the 21, I believe. Win split way wide left. Leak finds a receiver, and there is a penalty down at the 18-yard line. We might get offensive pass interference on this play. It looked like Dallas Baker pushed off on Ramsey Robinson. Holding 31 on the defense. The penalty declined. The play gained more than the yardage would have. First down. The bottom line is significant today. Leak 2 of 8. And this one's incomplete at the six-yard line. It'll be fourth down. And I don't think Chad Jackson wanted to catch that one. I mean, he did not look like he was ready to make that catch. Again, fourth down and three. Leak. Diving catch incomplete. Diving try incomplete. Second and ten. Darby. There's another miss. Oh, you're right. Yeah, he's, he's fun to watch. Three seconds on the play clock. They do get it snapped. Three-man rush by Florida. Coyle fires it left side. Caught by Keith Brown. Called down by Kyle Jackson, but that's another Alabama first down. Nine for touchdowns on 11 coming into the game. There's a flag down. Darby around the corner. Tyrone Prothrow down there to help block, but I bet this is coming back. And he said through all the rehab last year, TJ, as he called him, helped because his son had overcome two ACL injuries. And third down, it'll be fourth, forthcoming. Well, what's going on with Southern California? Ryan's blitzing. Lee gets by him, finds Dallas Baker. 
And the tackle is made up at the 50, but that easily accomplishes the first down. That's a gain of 15 yards. His second year, he lost his quarterback, both his tailbacks, his fullback, played the whole second half of the year kind of with one hand. Leak under pressure. That one's tipped incomplete. It'll be fourth down. On fourth, they go for it. Leak. Chad Jackson, that'll be close. See Very where the spot close. is. I think he may have gotten it. There's a play fake. Leak under pressure. Shakes the tackle, but he can't get the second. The first man there was Mark Anderson, and then it was D'Amico Ryans. Alabama brings only three, but that pressure forces Leak outside. It's intercepted. Picked off by Ramsey Robinson, and he's got blocking help. Robinson inside the 45, out of bounds at the 41, his first interception of the year, but not in any arrogant way at all. Here's Coyle throwing it, sacked at the 50. And every time he goes down like that, you can hear a collective breath there. Here's Coyle, blitz coming, Coyle goes right, pulls up, drills it, one hopper, incomplete, fourth down. It's an interesting play right there on the sideline. Brody Coyle was roughed by Jeremy Mincy, and immediately two or three Alabama offensive linemen went right to his aid. Jeremy Mincy was the guy who kind of sounded off this week in the press, saying he thought Tennessee's defense was a little bit better than Alabama's, didn't, thought this game could be a blowout. Well, he was right. Jimmy Johns is in it running back. Gets the handoff on the draw play. Young man who made his uh, mark as a high school quarterback. Jimmy and, well, they apparently are going to go for it unless he's going to pooch kick. Nope. Pumps. Throws it. Got a man open. Dive. Caught. Nope. It was dropped, but there's a flag. I thought pro throw had it. And he doesn't look good. Pro throw looks hurt. You could see Keith Brown waving the trainers out right away. He fell very awkwardly. Remember Wesley Britt? Third and six. Draw play. Johns. Good Florida defense. Johns, however, breaks across the five. That'll set up a fourth down. Uh, it's clock, clock it's exactly. also making Florida go the whole field. You don't need more points necessarily. You want the clock to run, and you want Florida have to go 95-plus yards to score any points. It's about an hour east of Birmingham. Here's Leak with a handoff. It goes to Deshaun Wynn. He goes left. Roman Harper will make the tackle, but not until Deshaun Wynn. Wynn forces him out of, he's forced out of bounds. Up the middle, Deshaun Wynn goes left. Nice tackle made by Anthony Madison, number nine, but it's a gain of 16. Manson stays on the field. Here's Leak. Steps up under pressure. Got him. That's Bobby Greenwood, a true freshman. Here's Leak. Left side this time. Casey is open and makes the catch and then dives toward the uh, first down chain, but he comes up a little bit short. It's fourth and two. Four-man rush. Ryans is coming. Lee goes left incomplete. Ball goes over on downs. Here's uh, Vernell Brown back to return the punt of Jeremy Schatz. He is very little for a punter. I mean... Tiny guy. He's he's not big. 5'7", but strong leg. I am shocked. I thought I thought Alabama had a really good chance to win the football game because of their defense and Brody Coyle. I am shocked that it's this type of a score. Tell you what we don't need is the throat slashing gesture we just got from DJ Hall. Florida still has a lot to play for, make no mistake. I mean, they uh, still have a game with LSU, a game with Georgia at the end of the month, who's undefeated right now in the SEC. Could be the final play of this one. 
Portis will run it. Josh Portis the ball. Out of bounds with three seconds to go. Portis with the pitch. Nyan Botan is tackled. Alabama wins it. To go to 5-0. Oh, led by a brilliant effort from Brody Croyle.